We in the ITF have seen many of our sectors decimated by this pandemic. But we also see that this challenge needs to be responded. And we need government, employers, trade unions to work together to rebuild our sectors, to revitalize the sections that have been impacted the most. Aviation, critical area, but also a very important area when it comes to sustainable transport. Climate change is today's defining issue. It is crucial more than ever to take drastic action now. Consequences of climate change are already affecting jobs in all transport sections. If there is no change in the near future, many transport workers and their families will be severely affected by this climate crisis. More than any other group, young seafarers and other young transport workers will suffer and their jobs might be lost. Consequently, it is crucial that young workers' voices are heard, their capabilities to earn their livings remain protected and that their future remains firmly based on equality and sustainability. When we talk about the seafarers, it is well known that their work is crucial for keeping essential supplies moving around the world. Their role is enormously important and they must be able to continue their work while their working and living conditions are protect protected. That will be possible only if the whole industry adopts plans on reducing the emissions and make the industry sustainable as soon as possible. What unions must do is to ensure that their members and all transport workers are aware of climate issues. These issues will affect their lives as well as the lives of all people around the world. Therefore, discussions with governments, employers and all other stakeholders must be part of every union's work. To conclude, transport workers are severely affected by this crisis. Not only their workplaces, but also their livelihoods are changing. And there is tremendous need for immediate actions to ensure that transport remains sustainable and all workers and their working and living conditions remain protected. The ITUC Climate and Employment Proof of Our Work campaign is a very strategic element that can help us mobilize our workers in the workplace. Amalgamated Transport and General Workers Union is using this campaign this year to try and raise the awareness of the fact that informal transport workers are a key in reduction of carbon emission. In Kampala alone, it is estimated that emission from informal transport, public transport, is over 500,000 tons of CO CO2 per year. This cannot be the situation we want if we are to meet this Paris Agreement uh, requirements. It is therefore our wish that this year we are going to raise the awareness of the importance of mobilizing the mass membership of the informal workers to uptake the actions necessary for reduction of emissions in the informal transport uh, workplace. So our message is very simple and very straightforward. We need to be at the table when we rebuild our society, our sections, our communities. The ITF and all of its affiliates are committed to be a voice for the rebuilding of the, of the economy. But we also recognise that as part of that process, we have to take on the challenge of the global crisis when it comes to climate. And we encourage governments, particularly when it comes to fiscal issues, to invest money, to rebuild infrastructure, to ensure that we target zero emissions. All of our affiliates in the ITF have been there for society, delivering cargo, supporting the COVID fight. But it's critical that post this fight, our voice is loud, our voice is clear. We want solutions that take on the climate crisis and we build a better future.